Okay, I'm gonna be reviewing the Scoo Hong. The giant Scoo Hong. Yeah, the stickerless Scoo Hong. And now, I'll get into the internal right now and then the rest later on. And the reason why I flipped this edge is for a specific reason. I remember where that part of the core is that I need to show you all. Here's a standard edge compared to a normal 3x3. Here's a normal Rubik's 3x3. And here's the Guhong. Guhong, this one. Rubik's right here. Yeah, a whole lot different. And the corners are becoming an issue now. Here is the Guru Hong corner. The red, white, and blue corner. And here is a standard Rubik's corner. And then, earlier, as I was messing around with the I noticed Something strange underneath the red center on the core um, in this certain spot. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's a yellow spot right there on the core. And it doesn't give you a defect of it. This cube came pre-looped, and that's cool. And the corners and edges also um, do this. They split into thirds. Yeah, split. The corners split into thirds. The edges split in half. Almost like a VQ. And speaking of which, the, I can start to see why a little while ago, right before Christmas, um, that the, um, the VQ Guhong War took effect. Because I've been taking a part and resembled my 7x7 right here before. And I can tell there's a little bit of resemblance. But not that much in the corners. But the edges, no. Corners, a little bit. But the corners on the my 7x7 seven seven are round like that. And this is not just some weird thing. It came pre-assembled, that's good, because I did not want to have the pain of assembling these edge and corner. And here is turning that good. Corner cutting, excellent. Reverse corner cutting, excellent. Let me try this. Oh. Uh, oops. Fail. This has happened to me before. Where I tried it before. And it popped on me. And yeah. I was earlier. I was like tensioning it. And did some tensions. Did some solve. And it seemed okay, but popped a lot, and I had to re-tension it. Like, I had to turn it down, um, like a half a turn, half a full rotation. Actually, when, uh, um, up on YouTube search, how to tension a Rubik's Cube, and I went over to Pesky Vix, 
how to send, set the perfect tension on your cube. And yeah. Uh oh. I have no idea where the, the edge popped out. And it's kind of a pain, kind of hard to put in these corners. Okay. On with the review. It turns very good. It's now my main speed. You sense of how fast it turned. Compared to this one with a modern. And yeah, I modded it, and it, like right there, doesn't cut 45, but doesn't cut that much. And it just now seems like very horrible. It came with a set of stickers and application tape. Like, yeah, and here's the box that came in with Diane Boeing, Diane Boa on it. That's who this guy is with some of his cubes, and yeah, some weird Chinese and stuff. Chinese pattern. Yeah, this is the pattern numbers. The and yeah. What I could do is if I could, um, but I don't want to do it this cube. I could like do a certain pattern. Like this, or even like this pattern, or some other pattern, or to scramble it, Then scramble it like this, and then sticker the cube like it is right now. Where just take the stickers and then put them on the each side like the way it is, and then I would have a two-way saw Rubik's cube where I can saw it like with no stickers on it. Or with the stickers on it. That's kind of cool. And speaking of which, I've seen someone on the be on the Twitchy Puzzles forum took the VQ um, Dazzler and scrambled it some, and then stickered it. With the VQ and cube smith set, and actually created a super weird cube. And also, if you can tell, I got two Rubik's wood cube. This one for play. This one unopened. Leave it there. It might be worth something in a few years. And earlier today, I tried searching eBay for the 25th anniversary cube. Could not find it. And I tried looking at other places. I found results for it. But I'm not sure if I get the anniversary cube or just a regular normal cube. Yeah. Since it's just a sticker mod.